Welcome, everyone, to this video where we will discuss the symptoms and solutions when encountering an error code, F0, in conventional air conditioners and inverter type mini split systems. The F0 code has different meanings, depending on the brand or manufacturer of the equipment. Let's look at some of the most famous brands. For manufacturers, Olimpo, Linux, Ainwo, Mirage. The F0 code indicates a refrigerant leak. Similarly, for the manufacturer, GRI, Hitachi, Higher. F0 indicates a failure of the interior ambient temperature sensor, which can be caused by a refrigerant leak. The F0 code for manufacturers. York. Bosch. Train. Mydea. Philco. Daikin. F0 indicates an abnormal increase in intensity when checking the specified intensity detection circuit. It is recommended to check these elements. Power supply issues. System blockage, defective PCB, wiring error, compressor failure. For General Electric, in portable air conditioners, F0 indicates problems with the evaporator temperature sensor. Error F0 is known by various symptoms, including 1. The air conditioner turns on without issues, but after some time, usually minutes or even hours, it closes the ventilation shutters and displays error code F0 before shutting down. 2. When you turn off the air conditioner and turn it back on, it does not work and consistently displays error code F0. This occurs even after turning the unit off and on. 3. If you disconnect the power for less than 30 minutes and then turn the equipment back on, the equipment card displays error code F0 again after some time. In summary, error code F0, depending on its meaning, can be attributed to various causes, such as A. Refrigerant leakage can affect the system pressure, causing it to enter protection mode. B. Issues with the ambient temperature sensor or well temperature sensor can cause error F0. C. Overcurrent in the system can trigger error F0 due to protective mechanisms. D. Abnormal condenser fan speed can affect the cooling process and lead to errors. Troubleshooting and solutions. 1. Check the power supply, ensuring it is within the specified values by the manufacturer. Verify internal wiring, the distribution board, and circuit protection to ensure proper voltage. 2. Conduct a visual inspection of the outdoor unit, especially the condenser. Ensure it is clean, without obstructions, and that the fan is functioning correctly. A dirty or obstructed condenser can cause overpressure problems. 3. Clean and maintain the indoor unit, checking and cleaning filters, the blower fan, and the evaporator. Clean components allow proper airflow and prevent freezing. 4. Confirm that temperature sensors are in their correct locations. An out-of-place or dirty sensor can provide incorrect temperature readings. 5. Measure the resistance of the sensors at a reference temperature provided by the manufacturer to ensure accuracy. 6. If the error persists, measure the system's suction pressure. Low or high suction pressures may indicate a refrigerant problem. Leaks or excessive refills should be addressed. After completing these steps, disconnect the power for about 30 minutes and then reconnect it. Turn on the unit and observe for a few hours to check if the error reappears. If it doesn't, you likely have resolved the issue.